<laughs> I recently went to Niagara Falls, as you can tell by my story when I was at the Niagara Casino. I, um, I went to Niagara Falls to celebrate my 10th year wedding anniversary, which was, uh, it's big, because now you're in double digits, now it's for real. This time it's personal. And we went to <laughs> Niagara Falls. Can I get another beer? Absolutely. Just, come on. Bring me the ball. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, yeah, Niagara, man. Niagara. <laughs> like, wow, man. And uh, we went to Niagara Falls. We drove there. We didn't take a plane. Because um, <laughs> it's like an hour drive away. I wanted to take a helicopter, but I remembered I'm poor. So we drove there. And when you drive into Niagara, you have to, you get off the highway, and then you have to drive through it to get to the good hotels. Because all the shitty hotels are right off the highway. Like, we've got TVs. Ah, I'm going $30 a night. No, I'm not staying at your place. So we drive to the, the Hilton and uh, spend way too much for in a, a, a hotel room that was the size of my first bachelor apartment. <laughs> it was very tiny, but you're high up, so you feel important. And uh, when you drive into Niagara, you see all the stores and the touristy stuff, and you're like, oh, we're going to do that. Oh, we're definitely going to do that. Oh, we're, oh, I almost hit somebody. We're going to do that, and we're going to go to that place. And then you park the car, and you get up, and you stretch, and you, you pay for your room, and they give you a cookie. This is a new thing. I've been going to Niagara once a year, or once every couple of years. Now when you sign in, they give you a cookie, which I, I think in their mind is like, thanks for choosing us. But it makes you feel like a fucking idiot child because you're like, here's your hotel room key, here's your cookie. What? <laughs> it's not like my first time out of the house. I don't need a cookie. This isn't camp. <coughs> I ate the cookie. <laughs> and I felt better because they warm it. It's, fucking, it's a warm cookie. And I was like, I said to my wife, I said, did you want your cookie now? She's like, no, I'm not four. I don't need a cookie, you dumb acting piece of shit guy that I married because I couldn't take time to shop around. And after we walked around for about three hours, but when you're driving in, everything seems really close because you're in a car. But then you walk, oh yeah, let's go do that thing around here. And then, like, I brought a map to illustrate it. <laughs> this is a map of Niagara Falls. You can get it at any store. <laughs> this is Niagara Falls, and everything looks close. But that's the picture of the falls. Look how tiny it is. Now put that to scale. If you're staying here, and you want to walk there, on the map it looks like, oh, down the street. It's a fucking three hour walk. <laughs> Why didn't I plan shit? Like I'm staying here, why didn't I go to see shit there? I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Remember, we're going to do the thing there. Oh, good, let's walk to that. I didn't pack underwear. <laughs> Three hours walking in the heat without underwear is bullshit. Because it's all raw. It's like hamburger helper between my legs. It's red. Don't you laugh at my pain. <laughs> I had hamburger helper legs. It just looked like noodles pressed. It's just... Hot, sweaty, wrong. Because driving in, I said, we got to go there. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Bring baby powder. Fuck the underwear. I would have gone down on somebody for fucking baby powder. It's just like, I'm red and raw and 
She's like, oh, suck it up. And I'm like, I don't care about the wax museum anymore. I just want, it's my vacation. 